Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. Today, we'll be discussing the US banking system and why it's at risk during our current economic recession. The US banking system is a complex and interconnected network that includes banks, the Federal Reserve System, and the FDIC. While it's designed to provide financial stability and security to individuals and businesses, it's not immune to economic downturns, which can create risks and challenges for the system. In this video, we'll explore the various risks facing the U.S. banking system and how they can impact the economy as a whole. The U.S. Banking System – An Overview Before we dive into the risks facing the U.S. banking system, let's take a moment to understand how it works. Banks are financial institutions that receive deposits from customers and make loans to businesses and individuals. These loans are then repaid with interest, which allows the banks to make a profit. The Federal Reserve System, also known as the Fed, is the central bank of the United States. It regulates monetary policy and is responsible for controlling the supply of money and credit in the economy. Finally, the FDIC, or Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, is a government agency that insures deposits in banks up to $250,000 per depositor. Risks Facing the U.S. Banking System During Economic Recession The COVID-19 pandemic has caused a significant economic downturn, with millions of Americans losing their jobs and businesses shutting down. This has led to a rise in loan defaults, which means that individuals and businesses are unable to pay back the money they borrowed from banks. As a result, banks are experiencing a higher rate of losses on their loans, which can impact their financial stability. Moreover, the pandemic has also caused a decline in interest rates, which can negatively impact banks' profits. Banks make money by charging interest on loans, and when interest rates are low, they have to lend out more money to make the same amount of profit. This can be challenging during an economic downturn when loan defaults are high. The Federal Reserve System has responded to the economic downturn by lowering interest rates even further and increasing the money supply through its quantitative easing program. While these actions have helped stimulate the economy, they can also create a risk of inflation, which can erode the value of money and impact the overall stability of the banking system. Another risk to the banking system is the potential for a housing market collapse. In the years leading up to the recession, there was a significant increase in housing prices, which led to a surge in mortgage lending. However, when the economy began to decline, many homeowners found themselves unable to make their mortgage payments, which led to a rise in foreclosures. If the housing market were to collapse again, banks could face significant losses on their mortgage loans, which could impact their financial stability. Moreover, a housing market collapse could also lead to a decline in consumer confidence, which could further harm the economy. Finally, there is a risk of cyber attacks on the banking system. As we become more reliant on technology, the risk of cyber attacks increases. Cyber attacks on banks could lead to the theft of customer data, which could impact their financial stability and reputation. Mitigating the risks facing the U.S. banking system It's essential for the government and the banking industry to work together to mitigate the risks facing the U.S. banking system during economic recession. The government can implement policies to support the economy and prevent a housing market collapse, such as offering mortgage assistance to struggling homeowners and investing in affordable housing programs. The banking industry can also take steps to mitigate risks, such as improving cybersecurity measures and tightening lending standards to reduce the risk of loan defaults. Additionally, banks can diversify their portfolios to spread out the risk and avoid having all their assets in one industry or sector. In addition, the Federal Reserve can play a critical role in stabilizing the banking system during economic downturns. The Fed can provide banks with liquidity and support to prevent a liquidity crisis. For example, during the COVID-19 pandemic, the Fed established several lending facilities to provide banks with access to funding and support the flow of credit to businesses and individuals. In conclusion, the U.S. banking system is a critical part of the economy, but it's not immune to risks and challenges during economic recession. The COVID-19 pandemic has created a range of risks for the banking system, including loan defaults, low interest rates, and a potential housing market collapse. 
However, with proper mitigation strategies and government support, the banking industry can weather these challenges and continue to provide stability and security to the economy. Thank you for watching this video, and we hope you found it informative. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative content.